Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is day one. We landed yesterday and this morning I get all the smells. So um, it's now 9.25. I'm on schedule. Technically I wanted to like eat earlier, but it's totally fine. Um, I We got in yesterday night and oh, were you okay with taking it over? I so yeah. Can. Yeah, so we can eat his pancakes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got in yesterday night um, around like eight. My parents come and got me. Uh, my parents are here. They're not staying at this hotel, but somewhere else. And then um, got here, ate my meal number four, and then I went to train. I had like you know 20 minutes cardio and just like a light shoulder workout. And then I had my last meal, which was tilapia. I took a little bath and then went went, went, went to bed. No alarm clock whatsoever. He woke up this morning at five. You guys can go watch his video on his YouTube channel. And I overslept, which is a great thing, but I woke up this morning absolutely starving. So I knew I was getting to hit a new low. So I checked in with Kim uh, in my suit in my room. Um, and then I went downstairs, weighed myself, and I'm at 126.6 pounds, which is a lot. But I'm always dropping every time I fly, so I'm not stressing it over. Um, Kim already sent my plan, he answered right away, and he's going to be there tonight. So this morning, we're gonna start with our regular breakfast, just, you know, oatmeal with uh, my egg whites. I'm gonna order the egg whites here. Honestly, the Arnold Classic organization for athletes is just beyond and above, so I really trust their food. I had fish last year, and I obviously, I never, I never knew it could taste that bland, and then they do great things like pancakes really well too. So I just ordered a little cup of espresso. I'm feeling great this morning, I feel, that I slept, which is keeping me alive. Um, so I packed all the little things that I need in this bag over here. So I have my Brazilian nuts. I'm gonna have five of those this morning. Always get this um, new floor first thing in the morning. So th that's 30 minutes before. It's just for your um, flora intestinal. I don't know how to say in English, but it's good. It's like an enzyme. I have all of my pills that I, basically what I do is just, you know, don't waste too much of Ziploc bags, but just write down what you have in each bag and they're pretty distinctive. So that's how I distinct them from all of them. So I have this in my bag. I have my little Quaker oats. These are gluten free and they work well. This is Skylar. She gave that to me. It's a food scale travel food scale it's the freaking matrix i don't know why it took me so long to get my hands on these it's a lifesaver but with that being said you know where i'm eating that's 28 grams so that's exactly what i need and then i have my salt himalayan salt um today we're keeping sodium and water intake the exact same which is like a gallon a day and then for salt to be honest i do like about five cracks on my things about or maybe a little bit more I, I just know how my food tastes and the salt tastes on my food, if that makes sense. Level of sodium. So Tyler is here and I can see his pancake going cold. So we're gonna <laughs> just order my order to her and I'm gonna see you guys back when we get the food. All right, see, the food is here, finally. 9.39. <coughs> so I just ordered a cup of egg whites, which is a, at home, I feel like it's so big, but yeah. Cup of egg whites with some onions and some spinach, so a little bit of omelet, um, no butter, no oil, no nothing, just completely bland. Gonna put some salt on that little baby. So change of plans now because I forgot my little stevia drops that I love to put in my Quaker oats. My parents were ready to go, so they going to go to Kroger's, <laughs> go get me my stevia drops, come here i'm gonna have my oatmeal with my coffee just like i love it at home i'm gonna be there in like you know in a little bit and then we're while we're digesting that we're gonna head out to the grocery store with them <clears throat> get what i need i just need a couple things um for the next couple days you know rice cakes um i'm gonna get some egg whites I'm gonna get some more oats um and yeah i mean you guys are gonna come with us so you'll see that there and then train either after meal two or if it goes really fast 
at the um, grocery store you might just go train afterwards so you could have asked me i would have came to sorry um that is perfect Very and perfect. here i have vitamin d turmeric and the liver from revive i put that in that bowl and over here I have uh, chrome L-carnitine alpha lipoic acid. So I'm gonna take one of each right now. And have his breakfast and wait on my parents to go get my sweet drops. Catch you guys later. For my oatmeal, I don't want it. I enjoy my oatmeal so much in the morning. I don't want to mess it up, but they got this for me right now at the grocery store. So we're gonna sit down just a little bit. I was doing some work, so um, just trying to book the flight because I'm going to stay with them a little bit longer. They're staying up until the 9th here, and then we're gonna go around Buffalo or something to just- Yeah, Niagara Falls, right? Oh, we're going to Niagara yeah. Falls, which yeah. is like super cool, and I'm gonna be having just a little bit more free time after the show, obviously, and about like two weeks of quote unquote rest. So obviously, as long as my parents are in the US, I'm gonna stay with them. So I'm going to try to call um, Jody, the girl that has been helping me with all my booking and stuff, right now um, to book my one-way flight to Buffalo and Aldizi is gonna go take a nap and we're gonna go to the grocery store finish everything um, that we need to get done so I'm just gonna eat my oats right now with my parents and then I'll see you guys at the grocery store you guys know I love grocery shopping that's like my tourist attraction either gym or grocery shopping so I'm trying to, to get overwhelmed so while we were driving I actually made a list of what I need uh, to grab so I have it right on here on my phone groceries over here just the regular stuff so I don't get a little bit crazy and I just spoke to Kim on the phone and we have the game plan for the rest of the day which is everything is gonna be perfect um, so with that being said just just start with some asparagus so we're trying not to get cut here so um, because it always happens that we get caught so we're gonna do it as quick as we can so just a little thing of the asparagus I already have kind of mine uh, done and I have to not think that we're I'm, you know I need food for only two days you know not even and then we're starting to cut back on proteins and stuff so just little tiny thing little sweet potatoes in a bag I get those maybe should I get just these ones because I have a lot non GMO. Like, see how thin they are? Yeah, they are thin. Oof. Yeah, I think the thinner the better. These are nice. You guys have so many of these. I'm gonna have my protein just made at the at the restaurant from the Arnold. I did my tilapia last time, it was Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I know. I used to be so scared not to cook my own food, but really trust me. I'm obsessed. You're with it. You're getting so excited. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with it. Like Aldo never comes with me at the grocery store because I do all the aisles and I take way too long. But I really, I just enjoy it so much. Okay. Which peanut butter? So this is Phoebe, the love of my life, seriously. I love this girl way too much, you already know, you guys. Um, so she's coming for her YouTube, her boyfriend that I haven't met, Max, which is like weird because we, uh, we have been It's like we know each other, like it's like when we met, like we've been speaking for like years, but never met in person, and then when we met in person, we were like, this just feels normal, it's weird. Yeah, so. but like, connection was just really weird, anyway. We're competing on the Arnold stage together. She's the Arnold champion in the UK, and I'm so glad she's here. She's gonna be there for a little bit, and um, 
so funny because we're catching you, her YouTube over there. That's Max. You can turn around. Say hi. That's how we do it. <laughs> I love this. So I don't know. She's on it since 15 minutes, but are you done? Are you all right, so I'm gonna catch up with her and I'll catch you guys after that 10 minutes of cardio. You see how she said we're gonna do we're gonna do glutes and we'll see what Aldo does like she'll mention something and I'll be like, okay, let's start with this. No, okay, let's do this first. She's running the the workout, not me. So we're gonna we're gonna start here with um, PA squat just to warm up. I just finished 15 minutes of cardio. Ended up being 15 just with Phoebe, but literally 10. Um, okay, so PA squats, and then we're gonna do some kickbacks, I believe, and I just follow along with uh, Aldo.
Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yep. Right? She's ready, you can tell. She, Thank you, you know that. Mindset and everything. Huh? You know how much that means to me. Oh, Thank you. I want me to. I know, obviously, that's why. Yeah, I can tell you. <laughs> that's why you don't bullshit. Thank you. Right. Nice it's good you. to see nice you. Nice I'll see you around, okay? Bye. Good. That's a wrap for today's workout. I wanted to do more because I feel so great, but um, I had to cut it off. You know, that's when you have to know your limits. I did what I had to do. The homework is done. Now it's about 3.50. We're gonna head back to the hotel. My parents are actually waiting for us. We're going to head out to Cheesecake Factory. We're gonna get some delicious steak. Four for All right, so we had to get here early. Uh, we had to get here before Laura Lee. She had to go back to the hotel room. We had to rush. So time is limited. She has her hair appointment, and then she has to meet up with Kim for posing and for a check-in, and then she has to film with uh, one of our friends, uh, Kyoko. And yeah, so she went to the hotel room. We're here by ourselves. She left us. And we're gonna order her sirloin because she's allowed sirloin right now. So yeah, now we're waiting for her. We're starving, so hurry up. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so watch us get fat. Well, watch me get fat. And watch him. Well, he, he's gonna eat pretty pretty decent because I made him eat pancakes when he wasn't supposed to, and I kind of forced him to. So I feel kind of bad. So you get a salad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he made it. He made All right. It. I guess made it to Cheesecake Factory, so we arranged everything because my logistics are not that good. That hair appointment, I even tried to call to push it over to just being able to relax and eat and enjoy here. But uh, they can't, they're closing at six and they were, uh, you know, wanted to change it to tomorrow. And to be honest, I just want to be done and over with and stop the traveling because tomorrow is going to be a very stressful day. So um, Aldo came here, he ordered for me. Um, just a filet, like I said, with a side of vegetables and I have my rice with me. So I head to the hotel and I got my rice. So I'm gonna measure that with my scale. Okay. And everything should be out shortly. And I can't wait because I'm starving. So it's gonna be good. Thank you so much. How are you? Good, doing well, thank you. Got How are you? Light, quick, medium. How are the steaks though? Good? Yeah, it's phenomenal. I mean, that's our sec secret weapon. I've had this steak for like, I want to say like five times, like the last couple of weeks. And it just, it sits very well in my Thank stomach. Yes, I digest it really well and it's always the same every Sorry. single time. So that's what I love about Cheesecake Factory. But yours though, get a close up of that. <laughs> oh baby, <laughs> avocado. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's a wrap. I'm gonna get my hair done and then I'm um, gonna get some more footage for later. Maybe. So, I always get a blow dry before the show because. I don't want to deal with it, which is like, I don't know. I don't want to carry my shampoo and then I just feel like it makes me like relax and it makes my hair nice and pretty for tomorrow. So normally I get it on Thursday because um, the meet and greet is on Thursday, but tomorrow I have such a hectic day and I do have photo shoot tomorrow. Um, so yeah, normally I do Thursday because it's my last day of training, it just makes more sense. But like I said, I have it just a very heavy schedule, but I know they're gonna stay nice up until Saturday and if not, we're gonna have our best friend, Dry Shampoo, to help with us with that.